This is Twit. Google announced some things they fixed in their February 2019 updates for Android. Uh, and there were a trio of surprisingly worrisome Android PNG display bugs. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, image display, which means this is in the PNG interpreter, which is invoked when anything on your Android device needs to render a PNG image, which says what? Uh, the web, any web page, any ad on a web page, uh, a, t a, a picture in an email that you receive and open of a PNG received through instant messaging. So, I mean, it is a big vulnerability because it can execute arbitrary code. Google in explaining what they have fixed now that they have fixed it said the most severe of these issues is a critical vulnerability in framework that could allow a remote attacker using a specially crafted PNG file to execute arbitrary code within the context of a privileged process, meaning that this thing that's doing the interpreted, the interpretation is privileged. It's down in the kernel, not up where the user is. So this is a service being provided by the OS, which means if you have a problem there, the code that gets loose gets getting loose with the privileges of the of the process that was running it, which is the kernel. So they said the severity assessment is which was you know highest. The severity assessment is based on the effect that exploiting the vulnerability would possibly have on an affected device. Assuming the platform and service mitigations are turned off for development purposes or if successfully bypassed. They said we have had no reports. This is important. No reports of active customer exploitation or abuse of these newly reported issues. They said refer to the Android and Google Play protect mitigation section for details on the Android security platform protections and Google Play protect which improved the security of the Android platform. Um, under framework, they said the most severe vulnerability in this section could enable a remote attacker using a specially crafted PNG file to execute arbitrary code within the context of a privileged process. Um, the, the Hacker News site framed it a bit less clinically and probably more real, real, realistically uh, and to paraphrase what they wrote, they said, using an Android device, beware. You need to be more cautious when opening an image on your smartphone downloaded from anywhere on the Internet or received through messaging or email apps. Yes, just viewing an innocuous looking image. And of course, they showed one of a kitten uh, could hack your Android smartphone thanks to three newly discovered critical vulnerabilities that affect millions of devices running recent versions of Google's mobile operating system ranging from Android 7.0 Nougat to its current Android 9.0 Pi. Um, although Google engineers have not revealed any technical details, the updates mention fixing a heap buffer overflow, overflow flaw and also errors in SKPNG codec and bugs in some components that render PNG images. So we know that Google, as we've talked about last year, Google is working diligently to improve the Android update ecosystem. That is, you know, working to require manufacturers to be responding to to Android patches and to push them with, within some length of time. Um, but what has already shipped has already shipped. And most of Google's efforts are necessarily forward looking. You know, they can't retroactively amend the contracts that they've they've had the people sign about what they've already done. So that means that the bad guys know now know that there are three vulnerabilities, one of which at least is very bad, allowing allowing arbitrary code execution. 
Um, and PNG rendering image flaws in Android since version 7, which was released on August 22nd of 2016. So <clears throat> two and a half years ago, this flaw was introduced. Every version since and every phone sold since has it until it's updated with these February patches, which have just been released and announced by Google. And of course, they've made them available to partners, but we also know that doesn't mean a lot at the moment. So every phone sold in the interim for the last two and a half years until and unless patched will be vulnerable to these flaws. Um, those who have been listening to this podcast since the summer of 2015, that is the year before that, will recall the Android stage flight stage fright exploit, which caused quite a bit of activity on both sides of the law, um, given that this problem only needs to display a PNG of a specially crafted image and that these, these fixes are probably reverse engineerable by the bad guys since Android has the mixed blessing of being way more open than Apple is with their iOS platform. Um, I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of this. So it may well be that a month from now we are talking about people receiving just an image on their phone and uh, and having their phone commandeered. So we'll see. What it means for our listeners is if you are using Android, hopefully you have a phone from a manufacturer who will make those updates available, uh, maybe directly from Google, maybe through a responsible manufacturer. Maybe you can go get them. Whatever it is, uh, it would be good to get them because I will be surprised uh, if the bad guys don't jump on this. It is the, the problem is too many Android devices are, are either never going to get patched or are going to create a large window until they are patched. And, uh, you know, the idea of just showing somebody a picture is, well, I mean, it's, it's really bad. 